Welcome to Sesame and Puff. Today we're going to talk about FIV, which stands for Feline Immunodeficiency Virus. FIV is basically a cat's version of the human HIV. Like the human HIV, FIV is a kind of lentivirus which weakens a cat's immune system and causes persistent infections. What are the signs for the virus? The clinical signs of the virus can be divided into three phases. The active phase, where there's immediate signs, the asymptomatic phase, where there is no apparent symptoms, and the terminal phase, where the cat's immune function decreases at a more rapid pace. For the acute phase, signs may appear to be all over the place. Fever, lethargy, and lymph adenopathy, which means swollen lymph nodes. We may also see upper respiratory infection signs, like coughing or sneezing. Signs relating to the digestive system may also be seen, including vomiting, diarrhea, and enteritis, which means inflammation in the small intestines. Your vet may also see leukopenia, which means low white blood cell count in the blood. Some cats may also show gingival stomatitis, which means inflammation in the gums. For the asymptomatic phase, we may not be able to see much clinical signs, the cat may look okay and fairly happy during this phase with not much illness going on. But your vet may still see hyperglobulinemia, which is also called polyclonal gammopathy. 25% of the FIV cats will also show low neutrophil, which is a kind of white blood cell. The terminal phase. This is the phase where the cat's immune system is getting really weak and there is recurrent infections all the time. A cat at this phase can get sick from literally anything because their immune system is not functioning properly anymore. The cat may also have neurological signs, including change in behavior or even seizures. Other signs include infections of the skin, eyes and urinary tract, kidney problems, extra likely to be FIV if the cat is young, lymphoma, which means cancer in the lymphatic system, and again, stomatitis, which means inflammation of the mouth. Prognosis There are good news and bad news regarding to this disease. The good news is, cats with FIV can usually live for years while being a fairly functional cat. But sadly, there is no cure for this disease and that a fair amount of FIV cats will have persistent infections towards their end point. That is, in the terminal phase as mentioned. How did or how will my cat get the virus? FIV can spread through fights and bites, especially in roaming cats that can run around the neighborhood. Through the saliva of an infected cat, the virus can be passed to a naive cat through deep bite wounds. It may also be passed to a baby kitten in the womb through the placenta or through milk after a kitten was born, but these two situations are quite rare. Treatment Since there is no cure for FIV, the main focus of the treatment is actually to provide good care to the infected cat. FIV cats may live for years after being diagnosed, so giving good supportive care is as important as any other forms of medications. The first step is to limit the cat's exposure to infectious agents, including bacteria, virus, fungi, and parasites. This can be done by limiting their outdoor access and provide them with good bug preventatives. An antiviral drug, AZT, aka Cydovidine, may also be available. This drug may stop the virus from replicating itself, but there are more and more resistance seen in the virus. This drug is also expensive and may cause anemia, which means a drop of red blood cell count. Many vets may want to keep track of the red blood cell count, hence blood checks are probably needed each month. Immunomodulatory therapy may also be an option, but studies have shown that both the use of feline or human interferons are not working too well for FIV cats. So in general, just minimizing the cat's stress and having their needs covered will already be great. So that's it for today. Hope this video has helped you understand more about FIV. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And till next time, see ya!